session of masters of business administration today we will be talking about information system for managers that is your admin pc 008 today we will be considering block one which consists of unit one two three and four unit one is basically related to information technology unit two is computer systems and smart devices Unit 3 is computer software and Unit 4 is networking technologies. We will start with Unit 1 that is information technology and overview. Information technology, in short we call it as IT, has become a strategic necessity. It has become a vital component of successful businesses and organizations. Managers are expected to identify opportunities to implement information system to improve the business processes. Managers are also required to lead IS projects in IT. Information technology has become a major facilitator of business activities. It is also a catalyst of fundamental changes in the structure, operations, and master of organization. IT can be used to store huge amount of data in an easy to access yet small space and allow quick and easy access. Analyze big volume of data available through internet for decision making. Performs high speed, high volume, volume numeric computations. IT has been used for improving productivity reducing cost, enhancing decision-making process, enhancing customer relationship, and developing new strategic activities. Customers have become the focal point of any business. The business environment is no more as stable as it used to be and has much more competitive. IT, it, it became mandatory on the part of the organization to make full use of IT. IT has become one of the standard components of an organization. It helps an organization to anticipate and stay ahead of problems. The organizations can take proactive measures rather than firefighting an organization can use an IT supported strategic system to increase their market share. IT can help an organization negotiate better with their suppliers. Maintaining and improving quality of products and processes in an organization needs regular support, vigilance, and innovation. IT has been used extensively for productivity improvement, reducing inventory, and maintaining quality. 
master information system what is mis has and decision support system that is dss have been used to help master in decision making processes business process reengineering that is bpr has become the need to the day for every business bpr involves changing businesses processes in an innovative way it helps it plays a major role in bpr internet and intranet help an organization in changing its business processes to reduce cycle time and to and time to market a product now what is the definition of information technology information is the finished product for which data is the raw material the dictionary defines information as processed data which is used to trigger certain action or gain understanding of what the data implies information has also been defined as data that have been put into a meaningful and useful context and communicated to a recipient who uses it to make decisions information involves the reputation and reception of intelligence or knowledge it arises and notifies surprises and stimulates reduces uncertainty reveals additional alternatives or helps eliminate irrelevant or poor ones and influences individuals and stimulates them to action the technology plays an important role in delivering timely and error free information to its recipients technology includes hardware software databases and communication system hardware is a set of devices such as processors monitors keyboard and printers that accepts data process them and displays them software is a set of programs that enables the hardware <coughs> to process data information technology means the collection storage processing dissemination and use of information it is not confined to hardware and software but acknowledges the importance of person as the goals he or she sets for his or her technology the values employed in making these choices the assessment criteria used to decide whether he or she is controlling the technology and is being enriched by it <coughs> types of information system there are various types of information system first one is transaction processing system that is tps it is used primarily for record keeping examples of tps are sales order entry payroll and shipping records etc tps is used for periodic report generation in a scheduled manner second one is decision support system that is dss dss serves the master of an organization a decision support system has sophisticated data analysis tools which support and assess all aspects of problem specific decision making dss is used when the problem is complex and the information needed to make the best decision is difficult to obtain and use dss is developed with the help of decision makers dss helps in decision making process and does not make any decision of its own executive information system that is eis an executive information system is also called executive support system senior managers of an organization use the eis therefore it must be easy to use so that executives can use it without any assistance eis can do trend analysis exception reporting and have drill down capabilities master information system that is mis we all have heard about this name mis provides the master routine summary 
of basic operations of the organization. The basic operations are recorded by the DPS of the organization and MIS consolidates the data on sales, production, etc. MIS provides routine information to managers and decision makers. MIS may support marketing, production, finance, etc. Workflow system. Workflow system is a rule based master system that directs, coordinates, and monitors execution of an interrelated set of tasks arranged to form a business process. A workflow system is also known as document image master system. For example, a workflow system is used by banks for loan sanction process. There are three types of workflow software. Administrative workflow software system focuses on tracking of expense, reports, travel, requests, messages. An ad hoc workflow system deals with the shaping of product, sales proposals, and strategic plans. The third one is production workflow system that is concerned with monitoring loans and insurance claims. A workflow system may be internet based and may be combined with email. Enterprise resource planning. In short, it is ERP. ERP system is a set of integrated programs capable of managing a company's vital business operations for an entire multi-suit global organization. This facilitates organization to share and integrate data for consistent flow of information over the organization's network and also using the internet as the organization ladies it. Business perspectives of IT. The impact of IT on a business has been tremendous. One of the advantages of IT system for a business is the cost performance ratio, which is better in case of computers. It is better to use computers for routine jobs as far as possible. The IT has been used in every business and for every function of a business. Some of the applications are in finance and accounting. IT has been used for forecasting revenues, determining the best sources and uses of funds and managing cash and other financial resources. IT has also been used to analyze investments and performance and performs audit. Second one is sales and marketing. IT has been used to develop new services which may not exist without IT. IT has helped masters of various organizations to determine the best location for production and distribution facilities. The operational data has been analyzed using IT to determine the best advertising and sales approaches. Next one is manufacturing unit. IT has been extensively used for processing customer orders, controlling inventory levels, developing production schedule, and for monitoring product quality. A whole new discipline that is computer-aided design and computer-aided manufacturing has evolved due to the application of IT to design and manufacture. Project Master. A range of software packages are available in the market for managing projects. These software's products let the master set the schedules, milestones, facilitates communication among group members, and monitor the project progress. These products help in document and report preparation. Next one is Human Resource Master. Companies are using IT systems for screening application and conducting review tests. Data analysis. Investment firms heavily use information systems to analyze stocks, bonds, and options to provide better services to their clients. 
with the internet connectivity. This application is high in demand, even by other firms dealing with large data. Now, internet and its business application. The new technology has been developed well in 1970s. The network hardware and software improved as a result of research and investment. The network became a reality and every organization laid network cables and connected their computers and other resources to the network. Such a network is called intranet and internet is restricted to an organization. When a network of networks is formed, it is called internet. Internet is a global network of computer networks. The internet connects computing resources of various organizations such as academics, institutes, business organizations, and government organizations. All networks which are part of the internet follow a protocol called TCP or IP protocol for communication. The internet has changed the way of the way the business is done. A new business paradigm termed electronic commerce, what we call an e-commerce, has come into existence. Consumers are able to shop for goods and services from all over the world in the comfort of their homes. The individuals are able to shop, bank, work, and uh, entertain themselves without leaving their homes. The payments are also made through internet. The organizations which provide these services also use internet. These organizations use internet to conduct electronic meetings, train employees in many different locations simultaneously. Teleconferencing video conferencing and screen sharing are some of the other internet applications. Tele, video conferencing, save travel time and travel cost. The idea can be shared quickly and the information flow is much faster. As a result, the product development time and contract negotiation time have reduced. The customer services has improved due to faster and accurate information availability. Many organizations have been able to draw competitive advantage by using internet. The internet is extremely robust. A system or a network can be added, deleted to the internet without adversely affecting others on the internet. The communication media used by internet can be a telephone line, an Ethernet, or OFC cable, or a microwave link. The internet can carry data, images, text, voice, videos, or transaction without any discrimination. Video conferences and online classes, meetings, purchases, deliveries have proved to be the only means for survival of industries in the pandemic COVID-19 worldwide. Another popular use of internet is the access information that others make available in public domain. There are special software packages known as search engines, which help users locate the desired document. Large databases, electronic brochures, book details, and manuals are present on the internet. Organizations advertise their products and services on the internet. Internet has immensely helped the field workers. In a traditional environment, a field worker has to go to his office to take orders <coughs> for a day and report at the end of the day again to provide details of his or her accomplishment. An employee of a digital firm carries a laptop and enters the data into the laptop which is transmitted to the organization. An employee can attend meetings without actually traveling to his or her office. Internet has also been used for electronic commerce. In electronic commerce, 
business transactions takes place at telecommunication networks. The business transactions will take place between an organization and consumers or between two businesses or organizations. The major benefit to the company includes reduced cost, reduced cycle time and improved customer service. Following is the list of benefits to an organization using electronic commerce. Electronic commerce reduces the time between the payment and recipients of goods and services. Electronic commerce decreases the cost of creating, processing, distributing, storing, and relieving information. EC allows reduced inventories and overheads. It enables an organization to operate in the area much beyond their physical location. It is the process of buying and selling goods and services electronically using internet. The activities such as marketing, advertising, customer support, delivery, and payments are also done electronically. And e-business is supported by internet without the organization. Virtual storefront in an e-business where physical goods or services are sold online instead of an actual retail outlet. Some of the examples are Amazon, Big Baskets, Crawfers, Swiggy, which sells so many items online. A customer can select an item from their website and place an electronic order. Payments can be made online through credit card, debit card, net banking, and through other modes of online payments like UPI, that is Unified Payment Interface, QR, that is QSBOX scanning, and apps like Paytm, Google Pay, etc. And then the company delivers the goods to the delivery location using traditional means. The e-commerce can also be classified based on the parties involved in the business. A business to consumer e-business involves an electronic retail home and customers. Such a business is also called P2C business. For example, Amazon. Amazon is an example of B2C business. That is business to business which involves transaction among businesses. The main advantage is that a business house can buy raw material and supplies from other business party without going through the retailer. In a consumer to consumer business, C to C, the e-business is a facilitator only. People are able to sell other people using a C2C facility. Government are also providing services to the citizens using government to citizen mode of facilities, that is D2C. Unit 2 is a comprises of computer systems, smart devices. We will be talking about components of the computer. A computer memory is categorized into primary storage and secondary storage. Primary storage stores the data and programs during processing and secondary storage is used to store the data and program for future use. Communication devices connect a computer to another computer and device to facilitate data exchange with them. Computers have been around since 1940 and have been evolving ever since. Computer hardware has mainly evolved through four stages. First stage was from 1946 to 56, where computer was built by vacuum tubes and programming was done by plugging and unplugging cords. With passage of time from 57 to 96, uh, 63, computers had transistors. From 64 to 79, computers had integrated circuit work we call it IC and from 1979 <coughs> systems use very large scale integrated circuits that is real SI 
Along with the hardware technology, the software also improved in terms of the user friendly and capability. Every system has software as its integral part, which makes the computer work. The most important software is an operating system, that is OS, which performs two functions. Extend the machine, that is OS presents to the user an extended machine that is easier to program than the underlying hardware. The second one is manage resources, such as processors, memories, timers, disks, mouse, network, etc. Operating system provides an orderly and controlled allocation of the resources among the various programs competing for them. Central processing unit, that is CPU, in order to work, a computer needs some sort of brain. At the core of each computer, there is a device called central processing unit, that is CPU, which is the brain of the computer. CPU reads the program from the main memory, executes each step of the program, which may involve calculations and decision making. The CPU is responsible for controlling all devices of the computer through its components, the control unit. The CPU consists of mainly three units, control unit, arithmetic and logic unit, that is ALU and its storage, also referred to as CPU registers. The ALU is the unit which performs all mathematical calculations and logical operations. It performs addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. A program is a sequence of instructions. An instruction may be an arithmetic operation, a logical operation, an assignment, or a job. The control unit sequentially access programs, instructions, decodes them, and directs ALU, main memory, also referred to as primary storage input devices and output devices so that the program instructions can be carried out. A CPU also contains a set of registers which are specialized, small, high speed memory for storing temporary results of the area, for storing control information. Computer speed. The word length of a CPU is the number of bits it can process in a single cycle. A 64-bit machine can process 64 bits in a single cycle. A 64-bit machine is faster than a 32-bit machine. Today, as far as 256-bit processors are available, which are much faster than what we have used or seen earlier. The cycle is defined by the internal clock of the control unit. We have systems with as much as 5.1 GHz Intel Core i7 and Core i9 based system that provides this speed. Storage and storage devices. A large amount of data is stored on a computer using various types of storage media. The storage media are distinguished by their relative speed, capacity, and resilience to failure. Volatile storage. Information residing in such storage needs continuous power supply. The contents are lost if power supply is switched off. Example of such storage devices are main memory and catch memory, which we will discuss in our next session. Non-volatile storage. The non-volatile storage media do not require any power supply to retain their contents. Examples of storage media are disk and magnetic tapes. Disk is used for online storage, while tapes are used for archival storage. Disk and magnetic tapes are very reliable storage media. Main memory. Main memory holds the program and data required by the CPU for carrying out its operations. The primary storage is a semiconductor device which is built using integrated circuits. 
that data is stored in binary form by brain memory. Numeric as well as non-numeric data can be represented in binary form. With two binary digits, we can represent four different characters. Simple, two raised to the power n. With three binary digits, we can represent eight different characters. Computers internally use eight binary digits to represent characters and digits. A binary digit is referred to as bit and eight bits are called a byte. 256 characters can be represented by a byte. The main memory consists of many thousands of bytes. What are the types of main memory? Memory can be of various types like random access memory, that is RAM, and read and look only memory, that is RAM. We can see over here further, this RAM is uh, again having two parts, that is SDRAM and DRAM. Similarly, ROM also has EP ROM and PR ROM. RAM has become the synonym for main memory. Earlier, the word core memory was used for referring to the main memory. RAM is the memory access method, and core memory was the technology used in the main memory. RAM is an acronym for random access method. As the name suggests, any location of the memory can be accessed randomly and the access time to its independent of the location. RAM is very fast. The access time is in nanoseconds. RAM is what I that it contents of RAMs are lost when the power supply of the RAM is discontinued. DRAM, that is dynamic random access memory, has been the most common kind of RAM. The data is stored in the cell of transistors and capacitors and the data has to be refreshed every few milliseconds. Another one is static random access memory that is SRAM. Does not require periodic refresh. SRAM is faster than DRAM, but it's more expensive as compared to DRAM. SDRAM, that is synchronous DRAM, is used these days. In fact, the first version of the SDRAM is also known as DDR, that is double data rate. RAM came in 1998. Further advancement in DDR has gone up to DDR5, that is the latest till July 2020, which has the capacity of double the capacity of DDR4. So DDR4 was being 21.3 gigabytes. A part of computer storage is ROM that cannot be erased or changed. ROM is an acronym for read only memory. ROM is non volatile, that is, its content are not lost when power is switched off. ROM is required for storing the boot program that should not be lost or changed due to any failure. Secondary memory. Main memory provides a small amount of volatile storage, but a computer needs to store large amount of data and instructions permanently. A secondary memory is non-volatile and has large capacity. The secondary memory is slow as compared to main memory. Various technologies are used for secondary memory. Some provide random access and other provide sequential access. In sequential access, the data must be assessed in the order in which it is stored. The sequential access storage device are referred to as SASD, that is sequential access storage devices. And the direct access devices are DASD. The most common form of secondary storage devices are magnetic tapes and magnetic disks. <coughs> Next is RAID, that is redundant array of independent disks. 
is an array of multiple inexpensive hard disks that provides fault tolerance through redundancy and improved access rates. It provides a method of accessing multiple individual disks as they are one large disk. Weight level storage can be used for three distinct purposes, including capacity. Capacity is a simple one that is specially involved in most every type of frame setup used. For example, two hard drives can be linked together as a single drive to the operating system, effectively making a virtual drive that is twice the capacity. Security weight levels can be used for data security by using some of the space on the drives to essentially clone the data that is written on both drives. Performance is another key reason for using a RAID setup on a personal computer. Also, RAID levels can be used for data security by using some of the space on the drives to essentially clone the data which is written on both the drives. Catch it. It is the high speed memory and expense. The CPU keeps part of the program and the data into cache memory, which is likely to use frequently. Cache plays a direct role in increasing internet speed than parameters. RAM and cache are both a form of computer memory. Cache stores images and text from web pages as you view them. There are three general cache levels, that is L1 cache or primary cache. Is extremely fast but relatively small and is usually embedded in the processor chip as CPU cache. L2 cache or secondary cache is often more capacious than L1. L2 cache may be embedded on the CPU or it can be a separate chip or coprocessor and have a high speed alternative system. But connecting the cache and CPU. Level 3 cache is specialized memory developed to improve the performance of L1 and L2. Input and output devices. They are used as a medium of communication between the external environment and the CPU. The input is provided to the computer through the input devices and the output is given from the output the input and output devices are controlled by the CPU. A computer system may also have devices under the control of CPU dedicated for controlling the input output devices. You will see how input devices, what are, what are the different types of category. Key device, it is keyboard or punch card program. Pointing devices, it is mouse, touch screen, joystick, light pad, voice recognizers, optical character recognizer, barcode readers, QR code reader, optical mark reader, optical character reader, or optical scanner, and other devices are cameras, digitizers, smart cards, and telephones and other devices for capturing data information. Voice recognition devices are used to recognize human speech. It converts human voice signal received through microphone to digital signals using software tools. Voice recognition systems are becoming popular. <coughs> then barcode. Reader scans the code black and white bars, which specifies the name of the product and its manufacturer. The computers then find the price of the product from the database. It is used for high volume, volume processing of data, where use of keyboard entry can be very time consuming. Best example is in the shopping malls. Scanners, the barcode is scanned and without typing anything, the bill is generated. Digital cameras are used to capture pictures. The pictures are digitized and stored in computers. The pictures can be reviewed, deleted, edited, and saved for future use. 
images can be transmitted from a PC to a printer or to other cameras. Output devices, the output generated by a computer can be transmitted to the user via several devices and media. These devices are called output devices. We will be talking about some output devices. The first one is the monitor. It is a video screen that displays both input and output data. It consists of CRT tube technology. It has electronic current that shoots the beam of electrons and illuminates the pixel of the screen. This is normally what is being done. Now we have different, as by the time is changing, we have LED screens, LCD screens. Second one is printers. There are two broad categories of printers, that is impact and non-impact printers. <coughs> Impact printers use striking action to press a carbon against a paper to create a character. And dot matrix, line, and daisy wheels are some important types of impact printers. Audio devices, speakers, headphones. The outgoing audio data requires a sound amplifying devices. And a few such audio outputs are speakers and headphones. Projectors are another way of display devices, which are used for displaying the outputs from the computer system or to a different serial surface by reproducing the same computer content for projection. Plotters. They use computer driven pens for creating black and white or color graphic images like charts, graphs, etc. They are used in engineering and architectural drawings. Sixth one is television. Seventh is GPS. That is stands for Global Positioning System Device. This device uses the satellite resources for capturing the geographical position of the device. Hence, if the user holds this device in his hand, the geographic location of the user can be captured accurately. Video card. Video card is a hardware device that can be placed in the dedicated socket, provides inside the motherboard of the computer processing unit. It is typically used for improvising the appearance of digital content displayed in the other display based output device. Networking and networking devices. A network is a group of computers, printers, and other devices that are connected together with cables. Data travels over the cables along network users to exchange documents and data with each other. Many users can use the same printer and share the hardware and software that are connected to the network. The number of possible ways to logically arrange the nodes all computer systems and devices on the networks are mainly of five types. They are termed as network topologies. That is the logical model that describes the network structure or configuration. These types are bus, ring, hierarchical, star, and hybrid. The computers in the ring network are connected in a ring of circuit. They there is no central computer and messages are routed around the ring from one device to another in one direction. <coughs> the bus network, the devices are connected in a single line. Each device is connected to the single bus and can directly communicate with all the devices of the network. A star network has a central computer. This central computer controls and direct messages. If the central computer breaks down, entire system is broken down. The hierarchical structure has tree-like structure and does not have a central computer. Messages pass through all the branches of the tree till they reach the destination. This structure is easy to repair as each branch can be isolated and repaired without affecting the other branches. Hybrid network 
is the combination of two or more topologies. Network devices. Network devices allows multiple computers to exchange data and information through internet or intranet connection. Many people can use a single printer or share other devices and resources on the network. Every network has a router, which is a device that connects to or more networks and determines the next point to which a packet of data should be forwarded towards its destination. Hub and switch are the center points where several network connections converge. That is, they are the points where data comes in one from many port directions or locations and is forwarded to one or more directions or locations. Sometimes the same device itself as both the switch and router. Plug and play devices, which are often called PNP. Specifications was developed by Microsoft with cooperation from Intel and many other hardware manufacturers. The goal of plug and play is to create a computer whose hardware and software works together to automatically configure devices and assign resources to allow the hardware changes and additions without the need of large scale resource assignment tooling. The plug and play feature was introduced in Windows 2000. One can plug in, for instance, the USB that is Universal Serial Bus device, and it is detected and accepted by the system so that the device can be used without rebooting the system. That means as you insert your USB into the uh, CPU, it starts working immediately without any uh, change or modification to be done. USB is the industry standard for attaching peripheral devices to the computers. This technology is designed for use with almost all devices, including printers, digital cameras, game pads, joysticks, keyboards and mouse, TVs, storage devices, everything. <coughs> now we talk about smart devices. The smart devices are interactive electronic gadgets that understand simple commands sent by the users and help in daily activities. Some of the most commonly used smart devices are smartphones, tablets, pamphlets, smartwatches, smart glasses, and other handheld personal electronic items. A smart device is able to connect, share, and interact with its users and other smart devices. Although really small in size, smart devices typically have the computing power of a few gigabytes. Such devices are very common these days in information gathering and further distribution. They are networked to form the Internet of Things (IoT). These small devices are powerful enough to process data. They range from sensors to refrigerators and wherever to containers, transportations, capable of running autonomous workload. Communication technology. Communications is the transmission of a signal by a way of particular medium from a sender to a receiver. For example, in human speech, the sender transmits a signal through the transmission medium that is air. For the effective communication, both the sender and the receiver should understand the signals and have common interpretation of them. When communication has to be established, a medium is required for transmission. This pathway medium is called as communication medium. This includes twisted pair, coaxial cable, fiber optical cable, microwave transmission, and satellite transmission. There are two modes of communication, synchronous and asynchronous. In synchronous transmission, data bits are sent over a communication link and the data transfer is controlled by a timing signal initiated by the sending device. 
Synchronous transmission is generally used to transmit were used for transmitting large volume of data at high speed. Data transmission occurs in one of the following three directions: simplex, half duplex, or full duplex. In simplex data transmission, the data transmission takes place in only one direction. Public announcement system such as radio and television use simplex mode of data transmitting. It is simple and relatively inexpensive. In half duplex transmission mode, the transmission takes place in both direction, but only in one direction at a time. Full duplex mode of transmission allows transmission in both directions simultaneously. For example, a telephone both parties can communicate simultaneously. The cost of full duplex transmission is high as compared to both simplex and half duplex. Types of computers, mainframe. Mainframes are not as powerful and not as expensive as supercomputers. A large organizations generally use a mainframe as a contact database and file server. Mini computers. They are also called mid-range computers. They are less powerful than mainframe. Mini computers are used for specific tasks such as scientific research and engineering application. Workstations. A workstation is usually based RICS architect, uh, architecture, provides high solution graphic display and high speed calculations. Scientific and business community uses these machines. Microcomputer. Microcomputers, also called personal computers, are general purpose computers. A PC that sits on a desk is called desktop mm -hmm. personal computer, in contrast to a laptop computer, which is portable. Network computers. A network computer is a desktop terminal that is connected to central computer. A network computer has essentially no storage, no CPU, and no secondary storage. Now, we move on to unit three, that is computer software. The word software collectively refers to various kinds of programs used to operate computers and related devices. A program is a sequence of instructions that a computer can interpret and execute. Programs can be built into the hardware itself, or they may exist independently in a form known as software. Hardware describes the physical component of computers and related devices. When the program is used, it is used, the computer reads it from the storage device and temporarily places the instruction random access memory. The process of fetching and then performing the instruction is called running or executing a program. Software programs and procedures that are permanently stored in computers, read and only memory that is row are called firmware. The two main types of software are system software and application software. Application software consists of programs that are aimed to help users in solving particular computing problems. Microsoft Edge for web browsing, Adobe Photoshop for developing computer graphics, social media tools like WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, and Messengers for instant messaging, all lies in the application software. The other class of software is the system software, which encompasses the programs that heavily interact with computer resources and provide service between services to other programs. Popular examples in this are operating system, hardware drivers, compilers. System software coordinates the various parts of computer system and mediates between the application software and the computer hardware. Operating system is system software which manages and controls computer activities. Operating system is a set of computer programs that controls the computer hardware and acts 
as an interface with the application programs. The operating system plays a central role in the functioning of a computer system. It is usually stored on the disk after the computer system is started or booted up. Portions of operating systems are transferred to memory as required. Windows by Microsoft, Unix, Unix, and the machine toss are the commonly used operating systems. What is the function of operating system? An operating system performs allocation and assignment of systems resources, schedules. The use of computer resources monitors the computer system activities, etc. The various activities performed by a typical operating system are performing common computer hardware functions, providing a user interface, providing a degree of hardware independence, managing system memory, managing processing tasks, providing network capabilities, controlling access to system resources, and managing files. Common hardware functions, all application programs must perform certain tasks. For example, getting input from the keyboard or some other input devices, retrieving data from disks, storing data on disk, and displaying information on a monitor or printer. User interface, one of the most important function of any operating system is providing a user interface. A user interface allows individuals to access and command the computer system. The first user interface for mainframe and personal computer systems were command-based. A command-based user interface requires that text commands to be given to the computer to perform basic activities. A graphic user interface, that is GUI, which uses pictures, which is what we call as icons, and menus displayed on the screen to send commands to the computers. Many people find that GUI are easier to use because user intuitively grasps the function. Today, the most widely used graphic user interfaces, Windows by Microsoft, Alan K and others at Xerox, PARC, that is Palo Alto Research Center located in California, were pioneers in investigating the use of overlapping windows and icons as an interface. As the name suggests, Windows is based on the use of window or a portion of the display screen dedicated to a specific application. The screen that displays several windows at once. Another example which is also widely used is iOS by Apple. The use of GUI has contributed greatly to the increased use of computers because users no longer need to know command like syntax to accomplish tasks. Everything is inbuilt. Hardware independence. The applications make use of operating systems by making requests for services through a defined application program, that is API. Programmers can use APIs to create publications, application software without having to understand the inner workings of the operating system. Memory master. The purpose of memory master is to control how memory is accessed and to maximize available memory and storage. The memory master features of many operating system allows the computer to execute program instructions effectively and with speed. Memory master. Memory master is important because memory can be divided into different segments or areas. Some computer chips provide rings of protection. Most operating systems support virtual memory, which allocates space on the hard disk to supplement the immediate functional memory capacity of RAM. Virtual memory works by swiping programs 
or parts of the program between the memory and one or more disk drives using a concept called page. Processing task. Managing all processing activities is accomplished by the task master. Features of operating system. Task masters allocates the computer resources to make the best use of system assets. Task master software may permit one user to run several programs or tasks at the same time, that is multitasking, and allow several users to use the same computer at the same timing, that is time sharing. Network capabilities. The operating system can provide features and capabilities that aids users in connecting to a computer network. For example, computer users have built a network access through Apple feature and the most Microsoft Windows operating system come with the capabilities to link users to the internet.